And it's back to Alan Wake. Hi. Last time, Carl Stuckey was pleased to meet us. And we were having fun in this log yard. Try to push us over the cliff. The asshole. What's this? There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Hmm. Could it be that flashing thing down there? Possibly. Let's make our way down there. Oh, Alan. I look at you. And it's not you. Oh my god. Oh crap, I'm stuck in a corner. Ah, oh, and I died. Marvellous. That's because I was sitting back in my chair, not paying attention. Arseholes! Right. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. I am out of practice. That was terrible. Fuck, there's a stump. Oh, yeah, yes, son of a bitch. That was more difficult than I remember. It's not bode well for uh, later on in the game. Ah. Some lights. Three minutes in, and I've already died once. How many times am I going to die? Blip. There's a lovely room of death. <gasps> Hunting rifle! Damn right! Oh, it's a shotgun. Even so. Let's save that ammo though, because. Yeah. Oh, what's this? I heard them before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. Well, I've already fought birds before, but mm, this is a sign of things to come. Can we turn the light on? No. Okay, well, this is nice. nice little logging camp. Um, it's quite noisy middle of nowhere. Hmm. Uh, there's a floating helmet. Of course it doesn't look like it's floating now, but if I step back it is actually floating. That is strange. I am scared by this. Oh. Can't put a bullet in it though. Okay, so what do I do with this? Oops. Uh, uh, come on Alan. Ah. Do I put it in the middle? There's a coffee thermos right there. I'll need to grab that. That'll do the job. Right, where was that? It's there. So the coffee thermos. Aha! It's right there. Yank. Delicious. Mmm. Doesn't drink him, he just carries him around. Where are you gonna keep a hundred thermoses, Alan? 
for starters, it's just impractical to have that many thermoses on you. You never drink that much anyway. Some of it will inevitably go cold. What's the point? Oh, but I just like to collect them. You mean steal them? Yes. Why am I an old man? Alan, you got old from drinking too much coffee. Oh, stop being such a drama queen. That wasn't easy. I mean, hard. That wasn't that easy. Okay. So we've made it out of the logging camp, by the looks of things. And we're back. Yeah, we've made it up those steps. What? What? Oh, look. I think there's an achievement for shooting down the can pyramids. I heard it taken. I'd say let's conserve ammo, but what's the point? Come on then, Alan. Let's go into the shack. Oof. Oh, cool. We can listen to Pat Main on the radio. Yeah, well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. A uh. few listeners know I'm a I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am. <laughs> Don't keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on here. Hey, Pat, it's not that clear. It's very Hello, foggy. Maurice. Let's go what back inside. Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured sure. if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? Oh, <laughs> Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but when we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but just too dumb for his own good. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You have a good night now. Okay, so we're on the lookout for Maurice's lost dog, Toby. Toby's been marking his territory. Hey, he's done a pretty good job of drawing an arrow as well. Um, oops. Pat, what the fudge are you listening to? Aha! Yeah, I want the flag, huh? Damn right! Oh, let me put this wheelbarrow here, in the middle of nowhere. Well, I don't like this. New I don't like Pat's choice of music there. That's the logging site, so we've come all the way over here. Cool. What's this one say? Wake finds pages. At first I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy, or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Obsessed much? No, it looks like a coffee thermos. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Oh, good. The best dogs in the state. Belly Burster is the best with no coat. Monster Dog is second best. The famous dog is... I'm hungry now. Wait. That was Carl Stuckey who we know didn't die because he ran off in the opposite direction when the bulldozer went over the cliff. But, 
Why is he talking about dogs and we've just heard on the radio about a dog? That's a little bit worrying. What's this? Okay. Um. <coughs> this looks like an encounter. Oh, it sounds like one too. into me face, you bastard. Safe haven. Not yet, it's not. It's sure to will be. Ooh, pranged me mic there, sorry. Um, oh, well, that's a bit better. Uh, checkpoint? Yes. Oh, what the hell? Trixie now. Coming at me from different directions. In pairs. Pairs, not pairs. Holy crap. Such sons of bitches. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. You are a madman. You killed your wife. This is what actually happened. Everyone knows that you don't just wander off into the woods and shoot people when they and they disappear and turn into sparks and are possessed by the darkness. This is just crazy to speak, Alan. Your wife drowned, and you. Ah, uh, upset. Okay, understatement. More than a little upset. So I go up here and I'm gonna find another mystery item. Some of the worst rolling rocks I've ever seen in my life. Right, well, oh, ah, this, aha! Why does it sound like somebody's breathing? Me no likey. Okay, so you eat dogs and non salad. I, I didn't see a dog, so I think we're alright. You wouldn't have eaten a dog, would he? I mean, do they do that? We're also on the lookout for birds. It's a lovely little alcove, let's stay away from that. The music's getting sinister and creepy. There's another truck. 
Oh, great. That's what I think of you and your... Yeah, bastards. Don't, couldn't be arsed with fanning about with that lot. Yeah, enjoy your death. Assholes. What's that noise? Oh. It's a moving pincer. Because nothing bad ever happened to a moving pincer. Another page? What's that one? I was hoping to finish this. The today. cabin on Cauldron Lake? This she episode. asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. You are crazy. You crazy, crazy person, you. Uh, let me in. Thank you. Oh, okay, so we need a shotgun, do we? Oh, yeah, let's watch Bright Springs. Science. It bestows immortality I mean, on those who advance it to um, elevate all Night Springs. Mankind. Bright Springs, Bright Falls. Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, A Quantum Suicide. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, the I'm what? going to give a practical demonstration of the many world Moorcock interpretations. Institute. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. No, it's it not. shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real dun, gun? Dun, dun. He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With Why? each pull of the trigger, two done new to that flower pot? off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. Uh -oh. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. Alan's I not watching the tally. Watch the tally, Alan. Quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can there. this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fool. Uh oh. Gaze upon quantum immortality. Lol. Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Filled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat in Night Springs. Night Springs. Awesome. Do 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 I'll turn that off. 
Hmm. And it sounds like we're going to have multiple encounters in this lovely, lovely, lovely logging yard again. So I'm going to call it there. The wind is picking up. It's gone a bit crazy. And I will see you next time. Remember to hit like, favorite, subscribe. And I'll be seeing you. Bye.